the history of female and mother goddesses help us as women to understand how slowly over time the divinity of women which had been held in high respect in antiquity became fractured and eventually lost its value in cultures around the world. Isis, the primary mother goddess of Egypt, is a prime example of this. Isis has been worshipped longer than any other known goddess. From the origin of written history to the 5th century AD, her worship began in ancient Egypt and later spread throughout Asia Minor and Europe. Her religion was a mystery cult in which she was revered as Queen of Heaven, Earth, and the Underworld. She was the goddess of love and gaiety. She was a powerful and magical healer, gifted with the ability to cure mind, body, and spirit. Isis is regarded as the Universal Mother. She is often portrayed suckling her son. She was a particular protector and patron of women. Isis guided women in childbirth and comforted women bereaved by the death of loved ones. Her qualities of compassion, tenderness, love, and devotion have endeared her to women throughout the ages. She is a reminder to women of their connection to the All Goddess and to each other. As a patron of women, she affirms women as great sources of strength, healing, and inspiration for each other. She shows us our own ability to heal ourselves and to heal others. In the 4th century BC, Isis worship reached its greatest peak. There were great temples built to her. The cult of Isis spread from Alexandria throughout the Hellenistic world. After the 4th century BC, it appeared in Greece in combination with the cults of Horus, her son, and Serapis, the Greek name for Osiris. The three-part cult of Isis, Horus, and Serapis was introduced into Rome. In the 1st century BC, Egypt became a province of Rome under the leadership of Augustus. The Romans ruthlessly extracted money and resources from Egypt. They thrived at great expense to the conquered Egyptians. Over the centuries of Roman domination, people in Egypt and throughout the Mediterranean world sought comfort through the worship of the traditional Egyptian gods, whose mythology embraced a central belief in life after death. In time, the consulship of Rome made efforts to suppress or limit Isis worship. The cult virtually died out after the institution of Christianity and the last remaining Egyptian temples to Isis were closed in the middle of the 6th century AD. In ancient Greece, the god Zeus emerged triumphant, but there were also several other gods. The male god of the ancient Hebrews, ancient Christians, and ancient Greeks effectively usurped the creative powers of the mother goddess, claiming for himself the female ability to produce offspring. And now, billions of women in the modern world are left without a positive archetype of the feminine divine.
the ancient goddess Isis serves to remind us of a time when the female qualities of compassion, tenderness, love and devotion were revered by mankind so that now we as women can once again recognize and revere our own feminine divine.